welcome back to java tutorials in this tutorial we are going to learn more about abstract classes in java with examples of java programs abstraction is one of the main object oriented programming principle used in java in abstraction we will be identifying entities main properties and discard the minor ones Abstract class is a class with one or more abstract methods. It has abstract keyword prefixed in it. Abstract class in Java cannot be instantiated. That means we cannot create objects of abstract classes. It can have both regular methods and abstract methods. Although abstract classes and interfaces seem similar in some ways, there are some key differences between them. Abstract class allows us to create functionality that subclasses can implement. In abstract class, there will be one or more abstract methods defined in it. In the case of an interface, it allows us only to define functionality. Let us see important points of abstract class. We cannot create objects of an abstract class. It can be implemented using inheritance property. Abstract method inside abstract class does not have any implementation. Class containing abstract methods should also be abstract. A subclass must override all abstract methods of an abstract class. Abstract classes can contain fields which are not final and static. It can contain implemented methods as well, whereas interfaces cannot. Ideally, abstract classes with only abstract methods should be defined as interfaces. Do you know what are abstract methods? Abstract method does not have its body. Use abstract keyword to create abstract methods. In this example, abstract void show method does not have any method body. If one class has an abstract method, then that class need to be declared abstract. If abstract class includes any abstract method, then all the child classes inherited from the abstract superclass must provide the implementation for it. In this example, color method is an abstract method defined inside abstract class called car. Car class has both regular method called break and abstract method color in it. Then the subclass sedan extends car abstract class. We can say abstract class is a blueprint which we will use later in subclasses. Just like regular class, abstract class can have constructors. Constructor of abstract class can be accessed from subclass using super keyword. The given example lists out the way to access abstract class constructor. Super method must always be the first statement in the body of the constructor of the subclass. Otherwise, it throws error in program. The next program lists the way to access parameterized constructor. Now, let us see the uses of Java abstraction. The main purpose is to achieve abstraction using methods and classes to hide unwanted details. In this way, it shows the just needed information. Abstraction allows to manage complexity by hiding details. The practical example of abstraction would be like automobiles using brakes. We use brake to decrease the speed but may not know the detailed functions of it. We can go through another example of abstract class which implements an interface. In the interface, there are two methods defined start and stop. An abstract class implements position interface. In abstract class, 
we have to implement both the methods defined in interface and it should include additional abstract method like color in abstract class.